time is up. Let's uh, start it. <coughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Yang Huanzhong, and uh, from Alibaba Infrastructure Service Department. <coughs> now, I'd like to share with you about experience uh, with immersion cooling in Alibaba Data Center. Uh, this presentation uh, introduced the problems encountered by Alibaba in the scale deployment of immersion cooling data center solutions and uh, considerations. Uh, the photo show is divided into four parts. There are uh, today's uh, data center challenges, why immersion cooling, uh, challenges of immersion cooling, practice of Alibaba. Uh, the, re the rapid development of big data and cloud computing technologies have brought a more interconnected world with people's life increasingly co convenient, as can be seen from this picture. Uh, IDC predicts that the global data sphere will grow from uh, 33 zettabytes in 2080 to 175 zettabytes by 2025. Increasing data requires more and more computing performance to analysis and process. Uh, recording the development of uh, microprocessors in the past 40 years, more snow is snowing down, as can be seen from the uh, left picture. Uh, but people's uh, demand for computing has not decreased. In order to get higher computing performance, one direction is to stake more and more computing units in one chip. Uh, one of the big challenges is uh, that the power consumption of uh, chips is getting better and better, bigger. For example, the power, the power uh, uh, consumption of the rec is, is, is getting better. Let's take a look at the rec power density trade, as can be seen from As can be seen from the uh, left picture, power uh, density in IDC racks continues to increase. Uh, computing performance uh, continues to increase, where several power consumption significantly increase. It is estimated that the max power of uh, density per rack will reach 40 uh, kilowatt by 2020. Uh, I think it is more cons conservative. Repeated growth of rack power density cooling mechanisms are struggling to cope with high dissipation requirements. The right picture shows that the air cooling cannot meet the high dissipation demand under a stable cost when the power density is more than 30 kW per rack. So, obviously, uh, the data center needs new similar approaches. Uh, as can be seen from the NEP future, the uptime institutes several reports, a wide range of PoE from over 1,100 data centers. The average PoE is about 1.8. Uh, only 6% of respondents claim a PoE uh, less than 1.3. Not any company can build data center in the last article. The right picture shows that about 33% power is used for cooling in a traditional air cooling data centers. We all know the formula how to calculate the PoE, how to achieve low PoE and optimize the TCO that has become a new challenge. Next is the second part, why immersion cooling? We think the new generation data center solution is immersion cooling. Uh, the key touches are uh, reduced costs and improve inflations. We all know that immersion cooling data center is very simple, less power by using liquid that uh, has greater heat transfer capacity. So it can reduce uh, IDC external ex dependencies, water resources, and uh, external environment such as temperature, humidity, etc. It is very suitable for high temperature and humidity in south of China. On the premise 
of step cost. The air cooling can only hold about uh, 25 to 30 kilowatts per rack. The immersion cooling can hold about 100 kilowatts per rack, uh, increased by 300 percent. Increased uh, resource utilization, electricity, land. Uh, next is the, the third part, challenges of immersion cooling. Uh, immersion cooling is not new technology, we all know that, but it is not popular in data center deploy. Uh, we think the first reason is that air cooling can uh, cover large parts service now, but the future uh, high density is, is coming. The second reason is that it has a lot of challenges. Alibaba has more than three years research in this project, including material compatibility, tank design, liquid cooling, and control and monitoring systems. Uh, it's really a big project, not only about uh, IT infrastructure. Uh, next uh, is mainly divided into three categories to introduce uh, system level, component level, and basic level. The basic level contains uh, liquid se selection um, and uh, material compatibility and the signal integrity. Firstly, uh, all four uh, we, firstly, we, we use immersion cooling. The uh, important thing is choosing the right height transfer fluid. So, oh, uh, as can be seen from the table, we, we can see all four fluids are considered long taxi and long hazardous. The fluids were compared along um, peri parameters of head transfer. Uh, chemical stability, material compatibility, and uh, oxidation stability, and flammability, and cost. The compression shows that uh, uh, flow uh, cable flows are efficient and safe solution to immersion cooling. Uh, Mineral and white oils are often considered for use uh, as high transfer flows for immersion cooling of bead miners uh, and electri electronics due to is low cost and uh, by tracker pur purchase. Unfortunately, most uh, potential and current users of memory uh, oil are unaware of the uh, corrosive effects of the many natural occurring uh, sulfur components that exist in memory and white oil. Uh, about uh, material compatibility, liquid uh, should be uh, compatible with all the materials, all kinds of chemistry elements, including uh, all kinds of um, meter materials, different plastic, cables, connectors, connectors, anything. Beyond being an effective cooling uh, medium, an electronic cooling flow must not affect the physical characteristics of the other components of the cooling system. Together with our suppliers, we test the, the compatibility of materials in service with liquids. Um, we found that there was a certain risk in individual devices and materials. For example, uh, as can be seen from this picture, uh, a relay and the novel cover in PSU, the weight degrees in mass is due to small uh, mo molecules such as PVC dis dissolves in the liquid. Uh, solutions uh, replacing PVC with uh, PTFE or other uh, materials. And uh, uh, just like uh, uh, rely in the PSU, the weight increase in mass uh, is due to liquid nix into the device. Uh, it shows that the ceiling performance of the type of uh, rely is poor. So uh, we must uh, re replace the rely with good uh, ceiling. About the uh, other challenges of immersion cooling is uh, uh, signal uh, integrity. For compression, uh, air's dielectric constant is one. Uh, different liquids have different uh, dielectric constants, as can be seen from the uh, left picture. Uh, all the high uh, speed signals should be tested together with our suppliers. We found that liquid with dielectric constant less than two 
can basically certify the signal compatibility of existing servers. But with the improvement of server performance, the signal frequency uh, becomes higher and higher. It is recommended that high-speed signals are read in middle and layer in server board. The component never contains any data in the performance of and the compatibility of CPU storage, memory, network research in liquid. There is no doubt that all the performance stability in energy infrastructures in liquid. Uh, we all know that uh, the current servers are designed for air cooling, but the design assumption that external environment is air, not liquid. So uh, cooling liquid uh, may affect uh, many properties, just like uh, boarding strengths, uh, just uh, uh, such as label uh, cover uh, on the uh, HDD and the uh, uh, server. Sending, uh, sending performance if, if liquid arrives into the HDD and uh, some component and the uh, vibration sensor uh, team just a uh, similar conductivity uh, stiffness and the ship. The acoustic vibration of HDD performance is reduced by cooling flow from the cooling fence. This, uh, this F uh, this uh, aspects that we must uh, consider. So we uh, worked with uh, um, many component suppliers uh, for immersion cooling technology. Uh, it can be divided into three stages, from requirements and understanding to technical collaboration and the scale uh, deployment. For example, uh, to confirm if there are some issues or de uh, degradation unique for HDD uh, fully emerged in uh, liquid, we designed a test fixture. It can control the temperature at uh, 55 degrees <coughs> to uh, 100 degrees. Uh, the liquid surface is about uh, 85 centigrade, centimeter high. After a long time stress test, uh, we I don't find uh, uh, some factor issue and uh, degradation. Uh, especially, we all know that the light is uh, reflective in liquid, as can be seen uh, from the left picture. We used uh, the type of optical model in the early testing phase. We found it cannot work in uh, liquid. So we have to find a proprietary optical device that is sealed well. As can be seen from the right picture, this type of uh, optical model is well sealed. This optical model is preferred. For the system level, uh, it includes the server architecture design, uh, tank design, uh, data center cabling, liquid cooling pipe layout design, system temperature and uh, liquid cap cap capacity monitoring and the alarm system design. It's really a complex stuff. It's really hard to fully cover in advance. About the tank design, we have designed two kinds of tanks. One, of, one is not sealed, uh, the other is sealed. As can be seen from the uh, left picture, uh, the cable is not sealed. Uh, it's kind of, uh, from the right picture, uh, the cable is, is sealed. Uh, through long time operation test, we found that the difference of liquid loss between the two tanks is quite large. In order to reduce the operation cost value, we choose the uh, sealed design tank. Another big challenge in, uh, is maintenance. High density uh, chipboard strategy under the weight of more than 100 kilogram. Uh, this uh, is a burden to operate. As can be seen from the, uh, this slide, we have designed a mobile robot arm to assist the equipment to move up and down. When maintaining the server, the server, we just need to control the robot move near to the tank. Uh, robots are so efficient that one person can handle them. Maintenance is no longer a problem.
Uh, next is the fourth part practice of Alibaba. To reduce energy uh, consumption and uh, achieve environmental protection, Alibaba redesigned the data center architectures, uh, creatively bring the immersion cooling solutions to its uh, current data centers, and uh, build out the world's first immersion cooling server cluster in Internet Industry 2017. Then, in 2018, large scale de uh, deployment was achieved at the Beijing Winter Olympics Cloud Data Center in Zhangbei County. The commercial uh, production of immersion cooling was officially started. Alibaba completely redesigned server storage. Just uh, uh, look at the, this picture. Uh, we can see uh, server storage and network architecture is, is not a, a lot uh, different from air cooling. All IT equipment in a data center we are uh, wholly immersed into the cooling flows without installing and uh, cross-cross The heat is uh, uh, high efficiently trans transmitted to the outside through cooling system. The low efficient traditional fans and air conditioner are no longer uh, used. So uh, it breaking the air cooling power dissipation bottleneck and also achieve extremely low PoE, uh, about 1.07. For example, in the China South, a high temperature environment air cooling PoE is about 1.5. The immersion cooling can be 1.07. Uh, considering that there are low fans in several, totally uh, 30 uh, six percent power can be saved. The immersion cooling technology uh, is not restricted by geographic and uh, environmental restrictions. No PoE in any climate uh, zone. So uh, much power reduction and uh, the elimination of air conditioner um, purchase caps the TCO should be op optimized. How much optimization uh, depend depends on the TCO model of your uh, company? According to my uh, experience, as long as the uh, capital power density is above uh, 30 kilowatt per uh, rack, you can get better TCO benefits. At present, uh, the, any, the, the air cooling technology is widely used in, in, uh, in electronic equipment. It's complex and uh, Diverse environment is difficult to avoid in the use of electronic products. The diversity of the environment includes temperature, uh, humidity, vibration, dust, and so on. The IT device is completely immersed in, uh, in a dielectric flow, thus completely isolated from the air. Liquid can protect the IT device from harsh envir environment. Immersion cooling compared with it, air cooling, animating humidity, vibration, dust, and on the future factors of electronic equipment. Through nearly uh, one, one year and a half, one year of uh, uh, large scale operation, we found that the future rate of storage uh, HDD in liquid is about uh, 50, uh, 50, 50 percent lower than that of air cooled environment. So the immersion cooling can help the IT devices get higher reliability. Uh, <coughs> about the higher stability, um, we all know uh, the uh, similar capacity of liquid is higher uh, than the, uh, the similar capacity of the air, about uh, 1,000 times. So similar in in texture of a liquid base 1,000 times higher than air. Liquid can safely absorb the heat pulse during heat exchanger units, just like CDU are in trouble. So as can be seen from the right picture, when, uh, when offense in, in, in a, a server stop, just uh, the, the server can uh, work during about uh, five, me five uh, seconds. But, uh, in use, uh, but you use an immersion cooling, uh, even if all bombs stop, you can, uh, the, the servers can 
uh, not can work uh, during about uh, uh, 30 minutes. Let's compare uh, the noise uh, in the center. In Alibaba air cooling day centers, the noise levels uh, reach up to 95 dB. Uh, because there are no air conditioners, uh, fans in the immersion cooling day center, so the noise in the room uh, was greatly reduced. The immersion cooling day center noise levels are around uh, lower uh, 50 dB. So, uh, the, world's, uh, the world's first immersion cooling data center in internet industry built uh, by Alibaba is bringing uh, disruptive energy saving data centers uh, revolution, uh, which is served the challenges of post more uh, Europe. It also can pro provide reliable uh, infrastructure solution for the re rapid development of AI and uh, IoT and other cutting edge technologies. We hope to work together with industry partners to promote ecological development. As early as uh, uh, 2050, Alibaba started uh, the research of uh, immersion cooling technology. The project name is Kaling uh, 1.0. We build out the world's uh, first to face immersion cooling server cluster for internet industry in 2017. Through the actual test, uh, cons considering the current capability productivity, TCO operation and maintenance uh, challenges, we, we don't think it's necessary to adapt to face technology. Uh, so next, we started the uh, research of uh, single phase uh, immersion uh, cooling technology in 2017. Uh, 17. Uh, we redesigned uh, the distant architecture so uh, creatively bring the immersion cooling uh, uh, solution to uh, its current data centers. And, and then in 2018, large scale deployment was achieved. The commercial production of immersion cooling was officially <coughs> started. After more than uh, one year of long time operation, we found that the system is very stable and saves a lot of energy consumption. And then we are planning to build a large immersion cooling data center. It is estimated that there will be uh, 20,000 servers by 2021. Uh, meanwhile, we are willing to uh, share our works and uh, experience to OCP about deploying large scale immersion cooling uh, data centers. Now we have uh, begun to uh, contribute cutting 1.0 specifications and designs to OCP. Uh, we are working with the Immersion Work Group on the requirements document. If possible, we will continue to contribute cutting uh, 1.0 specifications and designs to OCP. Okay, that's all. Uh, thank you.